So Kevin, a, a 5-1 win today here at Lower Breck. What's your feelings after that? Good win, good good performance, especially second half. Um, obviously had a setback in the, in the first couple of minutes. Um, but I thought the reaction from from that was 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 exceptional. And, um, put the put the Vars to bed now and until January and we'll concentrate on the league. And it certainly was a good response after that defeat to Stockton last week. Yeah, but again, you know the other the other couple of defeats that we've had this season. I think I've said a couple of times in, in interviews that we've had a, a real good reaction off the group. Um, and to be fair, you know we, we had a, we had a good discussion at half time. And, and the response from the from the equaliser was wasn't as good as what I thought. I thought we, we could have kicked on once we got the equaliser. We kind of went on the back foot again. Um, but second half was only one team in it, and could have could have went on and scored another couple. And Ollie Martin got a hat trick coming into the side. Um, not a usual starter coming in in place of Jack Robson, but hey, listen, it's, uh, a, it's a squad game, James. You know, and Ollie, Ollie come come on last week and in, in, the, in, the, in the defeat at Stockton done well. And he's been training well. Um, <laughs> so it was time he got an opportunity and he certainly took it the day. You know? Does it show that there's certainly competition for places in your side? Listen, for where, for where the club wants to be and where it wants to go, you've got to have competition. You have to have competition. Um, and we, you know, we, we're always looking at, at, at players and, 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 and looking to improve the, the team and the squad. And you've got to have that for what the club wants to do. You know? And you've had a series of big wins now. Where does that rank amongst the wins you've had this season? I think it's, it's a cup game. It just takes you into the next round, um, James. I think the most pleasing part was it was just a very good response off on the back of the defeat last week to Stockton. Um, but again, like I've just said to the lads in there, we, we, we now put that to bed, put the Vars to bed. The next round's January, and then we go again. We look to start in the league again on midweek, Tuesday or Wednesday at Chilton, which will be another tough game. But you know, we've got to string results together in the league again now. And you're still in the Vars, you're still in the League Cup. Um, are you, are you confident you can go all the way in those competitions? Listen, we take, try, you know, the, the, you've heard it said time and time again, one game at a time. Yeah. Um, you've got to stay clear of injuries, you've got to make sure the squad stays clear of injuries, shall we say. You need a little bit of luck. Um, and like I had said, just full respect on the lads today. I think the response in general was, was tremendous from last week's set. And going into Tuesday away at Shildon, that's going to be a tough game, isn't it? Oh yeah, really difficult. They're a good side, and another side that will be competing at the top end of the league. Um, but again, we go there. We don't, we don't, we don't change anything from from our philosophy. We will go there and, and have a go. And how do you think the journey back is going to be today? Well, hopefully, the lads enjoy it. It's a it's a long trip if you if you're on the back end of a defeat, I suppose. But you know, we're on the we're on the right side of a result. So hopefully, the lads and myself and Mick, Jason. We'll enjoy it and, and, and basically look forward to the next round in January. Kevin, thank you very much. Thanks, James. Cheers.